By the way, let's let's talk about uh, how you got in contact with Loch Lee, John. Okay. Uh, how, how did this happen? Um, I was just asked. Um, I, like, I think it was through a recruiter and the person that asked, basically, I think, just through their net wide. And I thought, I'd been thinking about things, um, I guess, with uh, the lockdowns. What am I going to do for the next 20 years? Am I going to stay where I am? And that wouldn't have been bad um, at all to, to have stayed with such an amazing brand. Um, but I just wanted to try something a wee bit different, I guess. I um, wanted to get more involved in the blending side of things, different responsibilities, I guess. So I am um, um, production director at Lockley as well. So now you've got board responsibilities, you have blending responsibilities, creating recipes. Um, so it's just, it's a completely different job. It's a, but the other thing of that is I met the owners um, we had an interview and then I came down for a visit and then it was just then it's just like we really clicked so and it was just easy I could see I could make a difference mm -hmm. which is that's important that I can make a difference and that I can use my experience now I guess after 27 years at Lefroy that I could just use that experience to help somebody move a project along and I could get the jobs I wanted to do so it seemed obvious that it was the right decision for me mm. family's all on the mainland now too so it was just that ticked the outside of work box so it was just it was just an easy decision on well it's not an easy decision but it was an, it was an obvious decision for right. me to make right. um, to be closer to family and to have to not know the answers again I think that's the biggest Thing, I wanted to not know the answer again and to be to have to to learn to be able to just learn so much and um, so quickly so it's more excitement in the job right now than yeah like and like I don't want to think like I'd never ever want to think that Lefroy was a bad job it wasn't no. a bad job it was an amazing job and that's like a yeah I'll always love Lefroy um, but it was just more like I knew all the answers at Lefroy I knew everything, like I knew like nobody could track me at Lefroy. So I wanted to not know these answers anymore and for me to have to learn and to really push myself, I guess. That's that's the way I wanted to feel again. So yeah, here I am and <laughs> nearly a year later. So yeah, it's And what you hoped for came true. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. And it's it's I'm, I've learned so much. In the last 11 months um, about myself even more and about the whiskey about what we're trying to do here things are changing so fast with Loch Lee it's um, it, it's it's really good it's all positive so far and um, there are challenges just like every business has just now I think with energy with supplies with just all of these things it's, it's the same in any business around Europe I think just now it's just yeah. it's, it's the global situation as well so we have all these issues but it's the liquid's been received well in the first year so that's good that's a nice tick in the box and we're building good foundations that we can build off in the future so yeah there's a lot of almost setting up just now so that the future can be strong for the brand as well so and and now the brand's alive that's even better so it's good to see the the brand coming to life it's good to see the whiskey delivering um, for what is generally a young whiskey and everyone knows that but it's we're building the depth and the complexity up um, in slightly different ways just now so but that will come and the depth and the spirit will come and it's about understanding Loch Lee and the journey that it's on as well and I think mm. Everyone seems excited by that, so that's amazing.